Okay, 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 so what is up everybody on YouTube? I hope you guys had a lovely day. This is of course Tubers Gaming HD once again. We are playing Pharmacy in 2017. Today I'm gonna give you guys a good way to earn some quite a lot of money in the game or just at least how to get a bigger outcome on your fields uh, which is also the same as how to get a bigger yield in the field because yield is obviously the same as outcome I just saw that on the game so yeah I'm gonna give you guys four different things that you can actually do to get a bigger yield in the field and it is actually some great stuff that I want to show you guys and I definitely think that you guys should go ahead and do this before you're harvesting your field because it is giving you so much more in the outcome and if you're gonna get a, a bigger outcome, you're also gonna get more grains and when you sell the grains, you got more stuff to actually sell and that obviously means that you're gonna earn more money when you're selling this stuff right here. So that is why I'm showing you guys this and this is something that really helped me out throughout the game on earning more money and getting a real business up running. So you guys probably already know that the farmers in real life also do this to actually get a bigger outcome and protect their, their crops. So let's just start out from one end to another and uh, Let's check out how to get this big outcome in the field. I, you can actually, I gotta say to you guys, you can actually double up the, double up the outcome of your field by just doing three simple three simple things throughout the throughout the what can you say throughout the living stages of the crop. So the living stages of the crop actually has like four stages that you can go ahead and do something with. Okay, so let's start out with stage number one. Stage number one of your crop is the one where it gets from just seeded to actually just grown a little bit. And when you when you're in stage number one, you can only use or you can actually use the other kinds also. But these three machines right here, this um, the rollers right here, and the weeders, which is these two right here, can only be used in stage number one. And I gotta say that I I I actually used this in my huge corn harvest, and it gave me a bigger outcome. I can say to you guys that because every time you use this it gives you an outcome increase on like 30% or something. 30% is actually a lot if you think about it. 30% is definitely definitely a lot a lot when you think about it. So yeah, it gives you kind of increase on like 30% and that is a great thing I guess. So that is definitely something you could do. The, the, how you actually use this is that you put on the rollers together. I'm gonna show you guys that in another video how you use the rollers right here because I haven't shown you guys that yet. But I'm definitely going to show you guys in some of my later videos. So just stay tuned. But you put these three rollers together so they make like one big roller. And I think it's like 9 meters wide or something. And in the first stage you just drive over the crops with these rollers right here. And they actually remove some of the some of the dirt and some of the shitty crops that is in your original crop and they kind of like ruin those crops so that your original crops can actually grow better than the crops that you don't want to be on the field if you guys know what that mean. I, I didn't I don't know if I explained it right, but I guess so. So yeah. And what this these two machines over here does is that this is the this is the weeders actually they remove all the bad things from the field in stage number one and that is basically just what they do they remove all the bad stuff and that is actually what we want to get rid of we don't want the bad stuff to be in our field because of course it's bad for the, our field and that if you if you use these right here and remove the bad things it will increase your field yield with 30% like all other stuff. Actually when you're using all kinds of these equipments right here, uh, the, uh, the, the yield or the outcome on the field will increase by 30%. I just said that I guess. So my opinion on this in stage number one you should definitely go ahead and use either this, this or this because 
it is very easy to use and this one right here is actually 12 meters wide or something it can actually take a lot in just one turn so that is definitely something that i will prefer you guys to do and i think that it's a great thing so yeah uh, just go ahead and do it i yeah you know and yeah so uh, let's get going with the next one actually which is right over here this is the spreaders i'm just gonna start it with the amazon spreaders this is the amazon ft 1001 and the amazon uf 1201 i guess yeah good looking spreader this one is not so big and that is basically why i'm not using them that much I will. St I, I. I. mostly prefer just using the, the Caravella Caravella right here. This is the Caravella Stiller 460. It is a 28 meters wide spreader right here, and you can just put it on a tractor like every tractor that you want. You just need 95 horsepower to run this, and 95 horsepower for a tractor isn't really that much. So just go ahead and put on a tractor in front of this, and. Then you just fill it up, you buy the pallets down here. This is the liquid fertilizer tank. You just buy one of these and then you can fill up the equipment and just drive it into the field and just spread the field. The yield on the field will also increase by 30% by using this. So that is also a great thing. This is very, very easy, but you can, you can use this in stage two, I guess. So go ahead and use this in stage two and always remember to use this one in stage number one. That is my opinion on it. And that's just how it is, guys. So let's get in the new Holland right here, which is actually also a spreader. This is a self-propelled spreader. It has a working width on 60, you know, what was it, 36? I think it's 36, let's just check it out. 36, let's check it out. 36 meters wide, you can see this is pretty huge. So this, this actually takes a lot with them at the time and you can go ahead and hire workers to do this job, that is pretty easy. So we're just gonna fold it in once again so we can get it in on the space which is actually what we want. So it's coming in once again right there but this is 36 meters wide and that is, that is quite insane I guess. So let's get going, let's get going to the next one. This is the manure spreader and this is of course solid manure as you can see the Justin Tornado tree right there and the Strawman which is my favorite manure spreader. The yield will still increase by 30% by using these machines right here and you know what to do actually, you know the drill, I made a video, I made a video how to spread solid manure you guys can check that out. I got a lot of video from Farming Simulator 2017. I actually made more than 150 videos so far, so that is insane, guys. So go ahead and check it out, I guess. So yeah, this is the Justin Tornado 3, and it can actually go ahead and spread a lot of shit. I gotta say that this is shit that you're actually spreading, so yeah, that is how it is. But you just buy some cows, some animals, cows or pigs, and you put on the shit up in the spreader and you just go to the field and spread the shit all over the place and then the field will increase the outcome by 30 percent so that is a great thing yeah so let's get going with this over here we got this is the this is also fertilizer obviously but this is chemical 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 fertilizer you also go into the pallets right here and then you buy solid fertilizer, which is the one that you're going to need in these spreaders right here. And of course, this is the Bradel. This is actually from Denmark, where I am from. I am from Denmark. Some of you guys ask me about that all day. I am from Denmark, and you guys who is also from Denmark, go ahead and check out my Danish channel, which is down in the description down below. Go ahead and check the Danish channel out and maybe give that one a subscribe also. That would be a great thing to do, but I talk Danish on that channel, so go ahead and do it. What I wanted to say is that Bradle right here is a Danish fertilized spreader and it is pretty big. I've seen, I actually seen this in real life. It is huge. It is huge. Yeah. So it has two axes right here and it can actually spread all over the place. Uh, on the side of it we have the little bridle right here which you put, put in in the lift and it just drive around with it. It can also spread pretty wide. 
Right here we have a little kernel end. I don't want to use this because this is ugly and this is for some kind of little farms and stuff like that. I'm a big farm. I'm, I always farm big so yeah I don't want to use this. But this is just like some of the ways that you can go ahead and uh, increase the outcome on your field actually. And I would definitely prefer you guys doing that and actually say that you should do this because you will get a bigger outcome on the field and that is basically what we want. So I'd just like to say if you like this little showcase or tutorial on how to get a bigger outcome you should probably go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. That would be a great thing to do. And yeah, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel because there will be a lot more content in the future. And with that said, guys, I just think that this is True Bros Gaming HD and we are actually going to turn off now. So we, I really hope that we're going to see you guys in the next episode. So yeah, bye!